Hey guys, uh, just another interesting video to follow on from the uh, Hilux that the injectors were just absolutely amazing, really. Now, when I say that, the readings were not the injectors. I'm sure the internals and the injectors aren't as amazing as new ones, but from the diagnostic, they seem to be working all right. So we've got a comparison here. This one is also a 2008. That was a 2008, wasn't it, the Hilux? Yep, yeah, 08, that was 156K, I think. Let's have a look. This one is an 08 as well, and it's... Uh, 163k, so we'll just call them both about 160. All right, there it is, May 2008. You can see it's a 120 Prado. So we're just, uh, you know, we're doing usual job, right? Injector replacement, and um, I've got some really important information for you. I'm probably going to drop in this video, so stick around. But what we're finding, the idea where I got started was just the comparison between the two. I mean, you know, we see a lot of these, right? probably an understatement but you know whatever I'm not here to say we do the most I'm the best whatever it's just it's just what it is okay so but compa comparing you know one job after the other both 2008s both 160k we did a diagnostic on this one it'll be in another video somewhere I don't know because we did an inspection about a week ago and from that inspection included the diagnostic and no surprise because they're 14 years old those usual parameters you know were some of them were out of spec and of course the usuals you know the injection volume was increased the main injection period was longer the load was higher what we would typically expect to see with this one so this one's normal let's say normal normal wear and tear it's not a big problem they're just due or a little bit overdue i mean due by kilometers but a little bit over um but the comparison so the red not only were the readings a bit different this is consistent with what we normally see the other one wasn't but we know they were certainly the original injectors. These ones will probably be the original injectors as well. But what we've noticed already, we've just lifted the valve cover off, literally, and the seals are a lot harder than the other one. So it makes you think, oh, you know, sure, someone didn't work on the other one and something got done and all that, but absolutely not. No, it was all original as well. But it just goes to show the conditions, maybe the weather, which oil's being used. I'd say oils ain't oils. Well, oils are oils. I've said that before, but... Oh, look, I'm really not sure when you've got the same age and about the same Ks and they're in the same state. Um, I really don't know what the difference is where one set of seals and gaskets are hard and one set isn't. Um, it's just crazy. But anyway, let's see what else we can find on this. And I've got some more info for you. So sit tight. Right, so let's compare the pair a little bit for a short while. Um, you'll be able to see, see the original marks we tell you about, all those original marks. That's enough to tell you they're going to be the uh, original injectors, and I'll just have a look. Uh, they are May 2007 uh, manufactured, as we pointed out before. See the wear mark? There's a wear mark on every injector because they do banana as they're clamped down, because you can see the clamps hold the injectors at the top of the injector, and the seats down there, therefore, it bananas. And the later injectors were upgraded, which is why it's another good reason to upgrade the newer injectors are heaps better. But anyway, moving on from that, we don't want to go across old ground. It's all in our injector information playlist. Let's have a look at these seats. We'll compare those in a moment. But these bolts, once again, see the big heads? You can live without these. You can just use those. You don't have to do this. But what I'm doing here, I just want to make sure everyone's got the part number if they want the upgrade bolts, because this is our last set. This is how it goes, right? You know, we order lots of things and sometimes they come, sometimes they don't. I don't get four at a time or eight at a time, you know. I get 40 or 400 at a time, right. So when you order 400, it takes a long time for them to come. And I haven't got time to wait, order four at a time. So what I'm saying, if you want to be absolutely guaranteed that you get these little small upgrade bolts, you just buy them directly from wherever you want, right, your Toyota dealer or whatever. You don't need them that they were upgraded from about 2009, but I can't tell you which vehicles. Some of the 150s have got them, all of the 120s and the Hiluckers. So it's gonna be around about the end of 2009 where they change from these big ones to these little ones. And we just like the little upgrade. You don't have to do it, but there's the part number. If you wanna be, because if you come into the Prada Hospital, we're gonna do our best to have a set of these, but this is our last set. So next week, whatever happens, these bolts are going back in unless some of these turn up in the meantime. So. It's, it doesn't matter though, I want to be really clear, it doesn't matter, but if you're fussy and that's what you want, then uh, just you need to just take care of making sure you've got a set of those, like that plate from Kayon with a 7mm. If you want to put a plate in, you've got to buy it off eBay, kayon.com.au, whatever the case may be. Now, let's have a look at these seats. And you'll just notice the erosion, well I'm noticing, it. it's very difficult unless you're standing here with me, but I can tell you, 
These ones are eroded away. You can see at the top there, the top there, pretty well over the top over that side and over that side there, right? They are eroded away a little bit more than the last set. You can see they're all they were about to start leaking as well, right? So just in time. So in that in the previous video where people have said, or one of the last couple of videos, we did three videos on that Hilux 2008. Some of the comments, oh, you know, you should have left it. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Sometimes that's right. Yes, credit where credit's due. Sometimes that's right. And we could have left it, and the injectors weren't broke. But they probably were about to be broke. And what was broke is the seat life isn't designed to be more than 40,000 Ks, and it's been 160. You can see they're about to leak. We've got plenty of evidence. We've showed on the videos. If you're making comments like that, you need to go back, check our playlists, it's called injector information. Watch all those videos, get to understand these seats, when they leak, what it does, what the causes are, and how it's going to be a catastrophic failure if you miss that bit of information. Really important, okay? We're here to help save your engines. So please watch and listen to the information carefully. Very important. Let's have a look at the vehicle, see what's happening over okay, there. The owner's recently acquired this one. It's got a service history there, and obviously from what we can see, it looks pretty good. Like looking in the engine, it's not all black stained, sludged and caked up. It looks like it's had regular oil changes. He did also recently do an oil change, so that's why the engine oil is going to look reasonable. But I'm sure he's going to give it more service and love than it needs, and it'll look after him better than the average vehicle because he's giving it a bit more, so it will give him a bit more. Okay. Nothing to see here. Getting this all uh, cleaned up to put the injectors back in. And I was just thinking, I'd better let you know in case you missed it. I'm taking a month break. Uh, you know, I've just been doing crazy hours. Too many days, too many hours. It's just ridiculous. So we're going to take a month off. And for those, some people are going to be quite surprised. Yep, we just do a complete shutdown. Because look, um, we don't have a massive team here of people uh, doing everything we need to do. It's mainly me and a couple of helpers. Um, casually here and there so if I was to put people in place to keep things running then you know it's just going to involve me and it's going to involve problems because there's going to be mistakes and we just like to get it done right the first time so I've given everyone the warning and this is another one in case you missed it um, the, the Prada hospital is fully booked between that and the break we're taking um, so we're not taking any more bookings so no further contact for anything on that side of things until at least the 26th of April after Anzac Day. And um, look, if you need parts kits, the last, really the last time we've got spare time is the 21st, the 21st of March, Monday the 25th is March from, you know, 7 a.m. in the morning. Get in early with those orders. I'm not gonna be able to get them all out that week and the rest will have to wait for a month. So you're gonna to need to get in early on that Monday if you wanna have your last chance to get any of your parts kits from me, injector kits, front wheel bearing kits, BFE kits, whatever the case may be. We'll try and do some dominance and suspension. Um, like all these things, you need to plan in advance. We get it done really quickly, but we can't do it while we're taking a break. So uh, all the text messages, will get a standard reply after uh, basically Monday the 21st, Tuesday the 22nd, saying, look, we're on annual leave until uh, the 22nd of uh, April. So there's your little warning in case you missed it. Um, and I'm probably going to get smashed on Monday the 21st because of saying this. So it's my own fault. I'll do the best I can. But please bear with me because, as I said, you can't get workers in at the moment even if you wanted to. So you're just going to have to be patient. Bada bing. Check that out. We're cleaning up here. We just cleaned the ports. Are you finished cleaning these ports? You happy with that? Yeah. So, you know, we're doing the, you know, I mean, you know, are you guys happy with that? You know, it's like a mirror. You could eat off it. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Right. Now. The other important message that I've got to give you here, right? My, we're talking about assistance and help and all that sort of thing. You know, if there's good people that want to do good work and they're prepared to learn and listen and, you know, it's my way or the highway. That's the problem. It's got to be done right. I'm very particular about how I do everything. Um, I've got systems in place that just work to make things reliable so that you get your parts quick as possible. They're the right parts the first time. There's no problems. You know what happens with problems? It's inefficiency, right? It's just a waste of time. I don't want to be going back doing things twice, whatever. Now, every now and then, it's out of our control. Something's going to happen. But I'll tell you what, we've got a really positive um, hit rate here. My assistant here, um, we've been working together. We'll call it training him for a while now. And he's done hundreds of injector replacement jobs. So here at the Prada Hospital, I've got to tell you that he will be taking care of most, if not all, of the injector replacement jobs. Now, 
obviously still done under my close supervision um, in the Prada Hospital. And uh, yeah, so if you don't like that, then I'm letting you know that's the situation. Doesn't mean I'm not gonna help out and get my hands dirty every now and then. If I'm very busy, there's many other aspects of the business to take care of. Um, but if anybody, if you look, to be quite honest, if you really, if you insist that I do it and you're prepared to pay the penalty, it's a $2,200 surcharge, okay? Who's gonna pay? You'd have to have rocks in your head. I train, he's right here, like, you know, he's done hundreds of these. It's done just the way, so I suggest you don't do that, but I'm just putting the, the silly option out. I'm gonna call it the silly option. It's like we're joking around, but we're serious. If you say, and I want your hands on the job. Now I'll tell you now, for years I don't do any cleaning, EJR cleaning, any of that sort of stuff. So either way we'll be doing it together. But if you want my hands, you know, getting in here and putting in, in every last detail of everything on the job that matters, it's a surcharge, 2,200 bucks. It's crazy, isn't it? So hopefully that's enough to deter you from insisting that I do the job. Um, I wouldn't be letting anyone do the job unless I 100% trust them to do it and um, even do my car and I put my money where my mouth is. Well, you put all the injectors in the Hilux, didn't you? You did all four of that. Times. So four times. All that R&D we did on the Hilux and the final set of injectors, the brand newies that are in there now, he did the job, I didn't touch it. So 100% I trust his work. Now it's not to say that he can't make a mistake just like I could, but we don't because we take the time, we've got the quality assurance checklist there that we follow to make sure there's no mistakes. Um, and I suppose if we forgot something small, it's going to be, I don't know, put, forgot to put that zip tie on, or I, I don't know. It's going to be an aftermarket ad on something that's unusual out of the square. Oh yeah, forgot to do that because, you know. Anyway, whatever. I hope you get the picture. There's important information in these videos, so stick around, watch the whole thing. Um, that was important stuff. But we'll, um, and you might think it's a joke. It is, it's kind of a joke, but it's serious. If you really want me to do the job, you know what, for 2200 I will even clean your EGR, right? So dude, if uh, someone does this, <laughs> with injectors side by side, we can have races and everything, and I'm getting paid uh, 2200 bucks more than you, right? So anyway, serious stuff, it's a joke, but it's serious, okay? You've just got to understand I'm really busy. There's more important aspects of the business. I really need to focus on helping people. We need to widen our uh, reach to help more people with more information, and you guys can help by sharing the video, subscribe, turn the bell on, hit the like button, if there's anything else on this vehicle that's important, I'll throw it in there, but it's you really just need to get into that injector information playlist and get yourself educated there so you don't make mistakes. Thanks for watching.